What's going on guys? Got a little bit of crazy, crazy setup, but Nicole's on a Zoom call out in the living room. We got an open setup and we got one bedroom. So I'm in the closet. So hope the, hopefully the acoustics in the closet are pretty good for you guys. Um, but I wanted to come on here and at least dedicate one episode at least right now um, during all the quarantine and shutdown and everything. At least dedicate one episode to some of the more specific things. Um, so one big thing being nutrition, um, cause I haven't touched on that here yet, uh, where I know a lot of people in the Facebook group, I've touched specifically on them, what they need to be specifically doing. So a few things is we need to be keeping that protein at the same level. So calories might come down. We might be bringing our carbs and fats down to bring those calories down, but our protein is going to stay at the same level for what our goals are. Um, so that's typically gonna be about one gram per pound of body weight. Um, so the reason our calories might come down right now is because our training style has changed. We're not burning as many calories as we were in the gym. We're a little bit more sedentary, especially for those of you who are staying at home. Now, if you're still able to get in a really, really tough workout at home, you're still going to work regularly now, then you should probably keep your calories around the same. But for those of us like myself who aren't going to work now, so I'm not constantly standing on my feet all day. For the majority of the day, I am seated now. Um, so I'm going through more certifications, more licenses, things like that. But that stuff is changing for me, so I'm a lot more sedentary. So I'm going to drop my calories down even further. Um, my calories are down a significant amount from where I was at my bulk. Usually, I would never recommend any client um, or have myself drop that many calories from my bulk. I've dropped about 300 initially to start, and we were seeing how that went, going pretty good. I've dropped it about another 150 to 200 because I'm simply burning less calories. My workouts aren't as long. My workout workouts aren't as intense. It's a little bit harder for me to stay focused during my workouts right now, only because I haven't trained in the style in a very, very, very long time since I was in about ROTC time or when back when I was uh, in a high school wrestler, high school track, things like that. Um, it's not my preferred method to train in. So I'm dropping my calories down due to me just being more sedentary throughout the day because I'm not burning as many. So as far as my maintenance level of calories, um, my uh, basal metabolic rate, my BMR, that rate is still the same. However, my calorie expenditure has changed. So I'm changing my intake as well um, to make sure I continue along with my goals. Now my workouts, no, they're not as intense, but I'm still getting something in. At home workouts aren't going to be as ideal as in the gym workouts when you have all the access to those machines, those free weights, um, the different range of those free weights. That atmosphere, that atmosphere just hypes me up when I see other people working out. I'm like, I got to beat that person. I got to do better than that person. Um, uh, things like that. So, you know, you're trying to show off a little bit maybe, or it's just that atmosphere of everybody trying to improve themselves at the same time. That amps me up too. So uh, due to that, if your schedule has changed, you're more at home versus at work, um, then yeah, consider uh, decreasing your calories a little bit. Now, those things can change. Some people are seated when they're at work. They're still at commute time or burning a few extra calories. So maybe drop the calories by 50. Um, for me, I'm not, you know, I'm used to standing six, seven hours a day with clients. Um, so now I'm dropping it by about 150 to 200 um, calories per day. Uh, I'm still trying to go on walks, so I'm getting actually more sun, more vitamin D than usual. Uh, but that's still um, that's still a different calorie. So I'm, I'm still good there. Um, sorry, I got a little off track. But for that, I'm still not on my feet six to seven hours a day. I'm going for maybe two, maybe three walks that are probably 15 to 20 minutes long, if that. Um so yeah, those are a few things. The other thing is remember your goals and remember your why. It is I have a lot of whys that are keeping me active. I have a lot of whys that are keeping me productive during this time. Uh, otherwise, I'd probably have invested in a video game by now and been playing that way too much. But um, I'm not. I'm continuing my education. So when I come back, I can be better than ever. I can better serve my clients right now. Um, and I'm going to more of a hybrid style for especially my in-person clients. But... Um, this is a time where I can invest, you know, in myself via the time and I can choose to make this time make me better uh, physically uh, in a different way. So I'm focusing a lot more on those um, singular muscle groups. So uh, 
specifically targeting the rear delts. Uh, I don't target that in the gym nearly as much as I should. But those imbalances that I have, those weaknesses that I have, I can target those now. Some flexibility. Um, push-ups. I love that I can do a shit ton of push-ups, but I've gotten away from that since I got out of the military. Um, so I want to get back to being able to do an insane amount of push-ups in an insanely short amount of time. I want to get back to that. Um, so focus on those things, but keep getting better. Understand that maybe your goals have moderately changed. So right now getting my push-ups back up, that's changed for me. My flexibility, um, a few of my imbalances that I don't typically focus on because I want to go to the gym and I just want to crank out some weight. Uh, so those goals have changed over my, but my overall, overall overarching goal of cutting right now is still the same. Um, but the ways to get there are going to change. I'm going to take advantage of that time right now um, and continue to improve. So um, comment down below if you like kind of these talks and if you want to see more of them um, or some topics that you want to see me cover uh, later on. But until then, I hope you got something out of this video and always reach out to me, follow me. Uh, my Instagram account is jakeblock underscore fitness. That's J-A-K-E-B-L-O-C-H underscore fitness, just like the title of this podcast. Um, but you can always reach out, ask me specific questions there, um, get signed up for online coaching. Um, make sure you're on the way to reaching your goals. Pick my brain a little bit, but have more of that structured guidance to make sure that you're achieving your goals as safely and as quick as time as possible. So um, see you soon, guys, in my next episode.